The premium category of motorsport, Formula One, is ready for some bigger changes in the near future, with the introduction of the regulations scheduled for 2026. As part of this mega-scale upgrade to the sport, Formula One will become a motorsport category which uses 100% synthetic fuels to power its Formula One challengers. That means no more fossil fuels will be used in the sport, and biofuels produced using plant materials with 100% certified renewability will take its place. This change is coming as one bigger step towards its net zero carbon goal set to be achieved by 2030. This video is about the synthetic plans of the sport, and we hope to inquire about the sport from different aspects. But before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. Formula One is not the first sport category that is going to use synthetic fuels instead of ordinary fossil fuels. The World Rally Championship is considered as one of the earliest motorsport categories to select this path to achieve their greener goals. Choosing a similar path, IndyCar Racing also introduced its own blend of synthetic fuels based on second-generation ethanol produced by Brazilian sugarcane. Why is it called synthetic fuel if it also releases carbon dioxide? And then how do these synthetic fuels create carbon neutrality? These may be the main questions that are inside your mind. These are not showing any bigger changes compared to a normal fossil fuel in terms of the energy generation process, and they are also releasing energy and carbon dioxide in the burning process. But these are not newly released carbon dioxide to the environment, and that is where we can see a difference of it compared to fossil fuels. Scientists came up with the concept of a carbon capture process, and this added carbon dioxide from burning synthetic fuels will be absorbed back into plants as part of the existing carbon cycle on the planet Earth. But in fossil fuel burning, new carbon is added to the atmosphere, which is present as fossil fuel previously. In that way, synthetic fuels made from plant materials are greener, environmentally friendly, and 100% renewable. That's why Formula One management is expecting to achieve its net zero carbon plan instead of using electric power. Explaining the plan to use synthetic fuel in Formula One from 2026, Chief Technical Officer Pat Simmons says, It's been a fascinating challenge. At the time I was first talking to people about this, no one knew what I was talking about. And to be honest, I'm not sure I did really. So I've done an awful lot of research into it. We've worked closely with the FIA, who have got a couple of very good fuel specialists, and we've had a lot of help from our partner Aramco. Even at present, 10% of synthetic fuels are mixed with 90% of fossil fuels to create the E10 fuel that is currently used in the sport to power the modern F1 challengers. So the plan is to shift that 10% into 100% at the start of the 2026 season. The 10% of ethanol that we're putting in now is entirely sustainable, says Simmons. There are lots of different types of ethanol, which vary in quality, but this is a true green ethanol, so fully sustainable. But this is not a simple thing as we thought, because it requires a continuous supply of synthetic fuel in large quantities to power all those 24 challengers, including the two new teams from 2026. Still, they have around three years to prepare those supply chains globally. We've been working with Aramco and have now tested 39 surrogate blends of fuel. This has helped us understand the effects of the different types of blends that you can use in sustainable fuel. We've been testing those in a single cylinder Formula One power unit, so it's representative testing. And I think that's helped accelerate our progress, Simmons added further. With the spread of environment-friendly attitudes among the world community, the establishment of newer electric power-based sports like Formula E and Extreme E can be observed. But in terms of motion, power and excitement, internal combustion engine are irreplaceable in motor racing. That is why most of the motorsport categories are still not ready for a critical decision like full electrification of its cars. One of the most successful team principals in the sport and current managing director of F1, Ross Braun, also talked positively about the replacement of fossil fuels using synthetic fuels as it is the best way to achieve the green energy goals without damaging the excitement of the sport. Braun said, We're working on an e-fuel where 
where the carbon circle is completely neutral. So the carbon utilized to produce that fuel is the same quantity as the carbon emitted from the internal combustion engine. It means that the engines do not add anything to the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The great appeal is when we find this solution, you can use it in your road car without making any changes to the engine. We will have close to 2 billion internal combustion engines on the planet and whatever electric solution we find, whatever hydrogen solution we find, there's still going to be 2 billion cars. There are parts of the world where those cars won't change to electric. If we drop a fuel which has much less impact on the environment into those cars, it's a positive change and we will be sending a strong message that that is a feasible way to go. All the oil companies that work in F1 are all committed to that. It will be a fantastic achievement and a fantastic message to the world that there are other solutions as well, Ross Braun added further. Even though the use of synthetic fuel is a good option to power sports cars instead of fossil fuels, it is not possible to use them in ordinary cars, as the supply can never match the demand. As a practice, F1 gifted many of its innovative technologies to the whole automobile industry, going beyond the whole intention of racing. This time also, F1 will surely gift something greater after the introduction of synthetic fuels. It is interesting to see the behavior of synthetic fuel-powered F1 engines from 2026. What do you think about the use of 100% synthetic fuels for Formula 1 racing? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. That's the end of today's story and please remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get more interesting stories like this.